So now everyone knows that uh, the home screen widgets are one of the key features, the most important ones in the iOS 14 that is currently in beta. And now the thing is that of course those widgets are great, but there is a limit. The limit is that we do actually have only the stock Apple application widgets and we don't have the freedom to actually choose the third party of widgets such as, by the way, one of those is Twitter widget that was in, definitely in the iOS 14 trailer but it's currently not so far in the iOS 14 data for by the way if you want to check out the iOS 14 trailer I will include the link right here so you can click that and watch this as well as in the description bar down below and now the thing is that since the iOS 14 is already in the bigger higher level of development so far it's already beta 4 then developers of some third-party app applications are actually starting to create their own third-party app widgets for this iOS 14 so that then after the public release that will be even in September they can release them to the public and that will be great but uh, the thing is that um, those widgets the third-party app widgets are not actually accessible so far right now and uh, but since they are already creating, have started creating those uh, third-party widgets, there is an actual way to access all the third-party app widgets that are currently in development stage for the iOS 14. And we, I will teach you that right now. Hey, what's up guys? This is again Showtime with MZ back with another video and if you're new to my channel We are making a bunch of cool videos just like this such as the iOS Apple stuff tech stuff and way way more So definitely consider subscribing down below and in today's video I would actually want to teach you how to install the third-party app widgets on the iOS 14 beta and um, let's jump to the video okay so now here we are with my iPhone and now let's just start getting those third-party app widgets so first of all I'm gonna lock it of course and then what you're gonna do is that you're gonna just simply go to the App Store and go to the search and then right here tap the search thing over there and type here the test flight now once you have already typed the test flight, make sure that you hit search button and these uh, are the options that you will get. Now make sure that you, you will have this option and you're gonna actually tap it to download it. It will, might ask you a passcode if this is your first time downloading this uh, particular application. For me it's not, so I'm just simply downloading. And once you have already downloaded, you're gonna tap the open button over here and uh, then just simple things uh, to know. So these are accept invitations. So accept invitations to beta programs and install the latest beta software, test beta apps, test out the new functionality before it's released in the app store. And finally provide feedback. So help developers build better apps by providing feedback and reporting bugs. So just a general thing for the uh, application that is for testing the beta apps. So we're gonna just simply tap the continue button and no apps available to test. Now of course this is what your screen will look like after actually installing this the first time. And now what you're gonna do is this go down this video into the description and you might see something like this these are third-party app widgets so there will be a link and the link of the invitation so that you can test that application now this is aviary or aviary uh, that, uh, yeah, that is actually the Twitter widget so you can get the Twitter widget after installing this app so now we're going to tap this link over here that will redirect us to this page. 
so we have already got the test flight and we are gonna actually go to the step number two that says join the beta if you already have test flight installed on this device you can start testing now and we are gonna actually tap this and start testing and then it will redirect us to our test flight and this is how our screen will look like we're gonna just simply tap install and then it will start installing this application it will take some time i will return now once it is already installed on your iphone this is how it will look on your iphone so we're gonna go all the way up to here you see every area over here and no this is of course not the twitter application but this is how this beta testing actually works so we can actually tap this application then we will just simply tell us some message from the developer we're gonna just simply tap next over here sorry guys so we're gonna tap next the share feedback so take a screenshot and send to the developer directly from this beta now we're gonna tap start testing and welcome to aviary aviary would like permission to access your account of course it will need a permission to access our twitter account so that then we can get uh, the uh, tweets uh, the latest tweets on our widgets twitter widgets so i'm gonna sign in right here so it will tell you the username or email or password you can just simply enter all that and then tap the authorized app i will do that in turn now once you have already authorized it will just simply show you a twitter something like that so it's not real a twitter but it's just an aviary application but it looks like a twitter because like it's beta twitter let's say so so now what you're want gonna do is that you're gonna go to the edit mode then tap the plus button to add any widget you want and by the way even in the beginning you will actually get the latest tweets widget from the aviary you have two by two one that shows you two tweets or four by four one which of course shows you four tweets so we're gonna add this to our home screen and this is how it looks like of course it will need some time to load your tweets but um, it will work pretty well on your device this is how you can actually get the twitter widget on your iphone now of course you can get not only the twitter widget but some other real real cool widgets so let's do this once again so that you remember the whole process and just how i did what okay so you want to go to uh, the uh, description of this video in my case it will be just notes because i have all the links uh, to the uh, invitations of the beta testing app programs in my notes because of course the video has not been uploaded to my youtube channel yet so we're gonna actually tap this link over here that says tricks so we're gonna tap it and wait a little bit then again the familiar screen we're gonna just scroll down and tap start testing then redirecting us to the test flight tap install and when it will already install by the way these applications take up really really little amount of space so just some megabytes or something i don't know why maybe they are just uh, the beta apps so that is why i don't know but we're gonna open up this uh, streaks application over here then again just terms from developer again just share feedback allow start testing and then here of course you can get some activities such as eat healthy meal or you can add a task over here such as do your homework or something like that and we can actually tap here the save task and just all that sort of stuff and once you have already created the tasks you will actually be able to go to the widgets page over here by going to jiggle mode and uh, yeah this is by the way how uh, the 2x2 two two one looks like when it's already loaded i don't know if you could see that i don't know why it doesn't show up right now but this is how it looked like now we do have here the streaks one or you can actually scroll down all the way up to the uh, um, place where the name of the application is written we're gonna tap streaks and then we have a bunch of various sizes depending on your uh, preference 
so many choices of course so i'm gonna choose this one and this is how they look and yeah by the way this is how the twitter widget looks like when it is already downloaded so here we go and this is the two by two widget so this is two by two widget this is four by four widget so this is actually how you can get the third party app widgets such as Twitter or Strix widget to your home screen on your iPhone on the iOS 14 beta and uh, this is basically all the video that we have over here so thank you guys very much for watching and if you enjoyed watching this video please make sure to give it a like and of course subscribe down below so that you don't miss any future videos like this and I will see you guys later bye